Thank you so much for joining me, Alyssa Arundel, for your September monthly tarot card reading. Wow, well, this month pretty much kick starts with a full moon in Pisces on the 2nd, which can really see us honing our psychic uh, abilities and intuition. Full moons are also about releasing and letting go, so we may want to start this month by thinking about the things that we are ready to um, pass on in our lives you know what do we want to transform from but then we move on to a new moon on the 17th which is in Virgo now new moons are about manifestation what we want to bring in so the reverse of the start of the month and it's in Virgo so I feel the more precise we can be about our manifestations the better but for a more in-depth astrological view you can look at uh, Patrick's September monthlies or in fact reach out to him or myself for a one-to-one -one, uh, for your specific situation. Uh, just want to thank everyone as well that watches our daily overview show and if you don't know about it I'd love to tell you about it. It's where Patrick and I uh, delve into the astrological and spiritual energies of that day. So enjoying providing that content for you. It's wonderful to read your comments and uh, it means the world to me to be able to do that with you every single day. And if you would like to check out your free three card tarot spread you can do so by clicking on the link beneath this video. It's not as intimate as a one-to-one -one session but it will uh, tell you about your past, present and future situation uh, and to have that for free I think uh, could be pretty cool to check out. So without further ado let's delve into what your specific zodiac sign tarot card influence has for you this month. Hello Capricorn and thank you so much for joining me for your September 2020 tarot card reading. The first card that comes up for you as your present situation this month is the Knight of Pentacles. Knights very often um, reflect messages or mean messages and so you could have some messages about your finances come your way this month and it's likely to be quite positive. This is an earth sign and so I feel like that serious side of your nature um, could feel very comfortable with some news that you get uh, this month. What is blocking this, though, is the chariot. <laughs> so whilst you might feel like you want to be practical and grounded, getting yourself uh, back into work, for example, if um, you haven't been either due to COVID or due to circumstances, um, you may be thrust into something. Uh, very fast paced month I feel it's almost like you will be what happened to September and I know a lot of us feel about the that about the whole year right but um, I do feel this month is going to be very very fast paced you want to stay grounded and so therefore you're being rubbed in two ways basically the universe is asking you to move on quick 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 uh, and your your mind is telling you, no, stay grounded. So a little bit of a battle of wills there, Capricorn. So your foundation card for this month is the Four of Wands. This is beautiful. You know, the Four of Wands is one of the best cards you can get in this position because it is the foundation position of the spread. But this card means foundations. It means family. It means structure. It means the literal home that you live in the four corners of your house and so I feel like there is going to be some more order finally in your life where you can take a breath and think okay that excitement was fun and more's to come however I would just like a little bit of peace and security right now and so Capricorn I think that uh, that is a very pleasing um, card to come up there particularly with this very fast-paced chariot energy in your present. Your past card is the Three of Cups. This is a card of celebration. It can represent communion of some sort. It can represent christenings, weddings, some sort of gathering of friends or family. So maybe you have been able to see people that you uh, have, haven't been able to see for a while. And that may have been lovely. Even if this is over social media or Skype or Zoom call. Um, I feel Capricorn that this will have really lifted your spirits and made your heart feel very, very full. Um, so it's treasuring those people even more closely this month. Your spiritually crowning card is the Page of Swords. This can represent a youth in your life that needs a little bit of support. So don't be surprised if someone comes to you this month um, 
with a little bit of a problem and they're wanting your advice and I think that your sage wise uh, demeanor can really help this person out. On the other hand, it can represent you being able to see through any lies or deceit. You have that sword. Things become more clear. Swords are not always people's favorite suit, but they're very logical. Yeah, they are an air sign, but they're logical. They figure things out within their mind. And I think this is going to be something very important for you to feel this month. It's going to add to your security. Your immediate future well, well, this is a card that uh, may <laughs> be a bit more tricky in some ways. It's the Nine of Wands. You're really going to have to defend something that you have created this month um, on a very, um, you know, in a very practical way. This could mean that you need to patent or trademark something in your business before somebody else tries to steal your idea. It's that kind of energy. Uh, in a workplace, someone you know might be trying to take credit for the work that you've done. You've got to you know really defend what it is that you've put together. Stand up for those beliefs. Um, don't let other people sort of make you feel inferior or make you go small into yourself. Um, if you are a naturally shy person, just know that this person or this uh, situation that's making you feel like that it's because of their insecurities and not yours so try to keep shining brightly this month Capricorn even if somebody particularly somebody at work is trying to put the boot in a little bit um your state of mind for this month beautiful another major arcana you have the world this is the last card in the tarot uh, major arcana tarot um, journey and so after this card we go back to zero which is the fool so when this card comes up you've accomplished a lot you've learned a lot of life lessons i feel it's almost like the clock is turning you know the tide is turning and a new fresh beginning is is in front of you and this is your state of mind and so this is a very positive card to have there because I feel like you're very much open to the new things that are uh, in front of you and you're very much willing to go with it um, setting aside any stubbornness you just want to make sure that it's secure you know because you, you're not um, you're not a fool <laughs> you're not at the fool either you're at the world and so this is about having uh, facts at your fingertips your outside influence is the devil but he is reversed i feel this is a really positive sign actually the devil very much means we feel attached to some kind of toxic situation habit it can be an addiction it can be um, just something that's really unhealthy for us. So something in your life, Capricorn, has been very unhealthy for you, an outside situation. So this could be a relationship, friendship, uh, bullying within the workplace. Um, but it's reversed. And so I feel like what this is saying is you've really learned how to cut ties with this situation. Or if you haven't completely, you definitely are. You're not going back on what you said you were going to move forwards from. And I feel like this is such a healthy step uh, for you to be taking. Your hopes and fears for the month of September. Well, you have the Nine of Pentacles and this card is reversed. The Nine of Pentacles very often means harvest and we do have that beautiful harvest full moon at the start of this month. Because it's reversed, I think you're just going to have to be a little bit more patient before you get the full rewards of what it is that you're looking for. Um, it doesn't mean that they're not going to happen. It just means that a few more things need to fall into place before you can... Um, you know, fully appreciate everything that you've worked so hard to gain. And your outcome is the uh, Ace of Cups. Uh, you can't really get better. It, you know, there are cards in the tarot that are just so wonderful. And this really is one of them. If you added the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands together, this is the card it would equal because it's a culmination of all of them. It's cups, it's, you know, thy cup runneth over. It's feeling abundant, having enough to sustain yourself and having enough to share with others. And so 
To recap for your month, you may want to stay a bit more grounded, but something is telling you to move forwards. I feel connecting with people close to you is really going to help you stay focused. Young person in your life may need a little bit of support. You're starting a new journey within your relationships with people, particularly within your career. You're moving forwards from any toxic situations. And yes, there may be a little bit more patience to be had, but your outcome card really shows you coming out on top. So there you have your tarot card spread for the month of September. Thank you once again for joining me. If you would like to uh, get your free three card spread, find that link beneath this video and uh, snaffle yourself a free spread. But until we speak again next month, it's been such an honor sharing this space with you. Good luck for this month and goodbye, Alyssa.